Hallelujah. Let's live for Father. Thank you, Jesus. Let's thank our Lord. Viewers all over the world, we welcome you back. We're now going straight to the prayer line. Just believe as you touch your screen, as you are watching, this is an open door. Whatever manifestations are happening here, they will happen in your house wherever you are. God is touching you, raising you up, and giving you life from above. There's no distance. God is here to bless you. You are blessed as you're watching in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. Amen. Thank you, worship team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are blessed already, ne? You have been given the glory from above. Just know that you're blessed. Hallelujah. 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 Say love with Jesus. Say love with Jesus. Say I'm blessed above all. Say I love you, my Father. So just believe you are blessed. Whatever trouble you are going through, know that Jesus has set you free already. Amen. As long as you know that Jesus has gone to the cross, he has gone to the cross, taking away all your iniquities, all your troubles, all your pains, all your diseases. So you have come here for fulfillment. You have just come for, for fulfillment. Know that it's given to you already. Hallelujah. So those who came to confess, you can go to that section, that site. It's where people confess. You can go there for your confession. Just know that God is with you. God is here to bless you. Amen. So to everyone, even viewers who are watching all over the world, tomorrow night we'll be having our Christmas celebration. Tomorrow night, starting from 6 in the evening, we'll be having our Christmas celebration. We'll be celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Know that on Tuesday, there's no service because we'll be having the all-night celebration of our birth, or the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. So on Tuesday, there's no service. Friday, we'll be having our school of Friday, our Friday school, let's come and enjoy what God will be doing. Friday school and also it will be training of the matters of the kingdom. The last training of the matters of the kingdom for 2017, we thank God that he gave birth to many. Spirit gave birth to spirit and we thank God that he released many leaders, many pastors, many prophets, many evangelists, many apostles. People have been raised. We thank God that he has still been faithful this year and next year expect more. He will still produce. I'm going to produce like sausages to produce more. Spirit giving birth to spirit. So we thank God. Let's do likewise. Do we love Jesus Christ? So God is here to bless us all. Hallelujah. Do you believe? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? So those who came to confess, just know one thing. You see yourself troubled. You see yourself being the one who sinned against God. You don't come blaming others. You don't come blaming others. You had the ears, you listened, you spoke. Are we going somewhere? You were the one who were offended. Offense can be given as well as taken. So those who were offended, it's you who were offended. Don't blame the one who brought offense to you. Are we clear? So it's important. The main thing is for you to receive your blessing. Don't block your blessing by pointing fingers. You still point fingers, you're still wrong. Are we going somewhere? So we taught a lot about this message. We taught a lot. Before you confess, make sure that you understand the message. Get the DVDs, learn. Don't come and waste time. Are we clear? Don't come and waste, because some people come just to waste their time. And it's also wasting of our time. Only people who are genuine. Elijah was a man like you and me, but he prayed and the heavens opened. So if I was a man like you and him, you can open the heavens through confession. Because the same John James, uh, the same James chapter 5, James chapter 5 says, confess to one another and the prayer of righteous men shall save the sick person. Your sins will be forgiven. Then it says, Elijah was a man like you and me. He prayed. And the heavens opened. 
So you can open your heavens through that confession. Do we love Jesus Christ? So God is there to bless us together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say love with Jesus. Say love with Jesus. Say love with my Father. So whatever you're going through, God has prepared this day for you. Those who are watching the telecast, just know that it's an open door. It has already been opened for you to be blessed, to, re to receive from above. I declare you blessed as you're watching in Jesus' name. You're blessed. God is with you. Take this. Use it.
What is the pain? Sorry? What is the pain? Uh, it seems I um, always have bad dreams. Just have this. Use anointing oil. You bring your testimony.
I mean, I have a problem. I don't eat, I don't eat meat, especially those in mass that they have four legs. What's happening? I don't eat meat, especially those in mass that they have four legs. Oh, you don't eat meat, especially the ones with four legs. Yeah. You only eat two legs. Yeah. So you are running short of two again. So just drink this, ne? Drink this now. And what, what's happening after when you eat the meat with four legs? I'm not feeling well. Sometimes my skin. Your skin changes. Uh, so you mean you have allergy to four legs. Uh, so two legs keeps you well. So drink this for four legs. Yeah, take him to the kitchen. Give him meat with four legs. Make sure that it's four legs, not two. Go, let's.
Jesus name. Receive spiritual operation, like me in the leg. <coughs> Receive spiritual operation, spiritual operation. It's good. How's the pain? It's good. Come back, come back. Uh, stop. So they did, what happened? I, when I get off the taxi, my feet get broken. Both sides. Both sides were broken. Yes, in here. Now, how's the pain? I don't feel it anymore. I don't feel it anymore. How's the pain? Let's, let's. Let's live for Jesus. Wonderful. Let's live for Jesus. Murudi, na kupolon tu se utatawa giri drugs, kinyo kuto la drugs. Utu ba ing? Kuto din si diket, rock or the drugs. Utu ba everything? Yeah, the mix. He says he's addicted to drugs, all sorts of drugs, and he would like to stop, and therefore asking the man of God for assistance. Go test. Let go test him.
Yeah, you said you, you don't eat meat with four legs, né? With four legs. So, you see meat with four legs, you know? It's red meat, né? With, with four legs. So, you only eat two legs. Yeah. So, four legs, when you eat, there's um, allergies. Allergies, and I'm not feeling well when I eat four legs. When you eat, yeah. You went to test. So, so take, take the meat there, eat. What's happening now when you eat? Yo, huh? wow. Ah, this is amazing. I'm just, ah, wow. I'm feeling good. It You're feeling good? As, yeah, yeah. It's the same as the, the chicken. Wow, wow. I can't wait to go home and eat pork. I mean, this is, this is amazing. I'm just feeling well, you know. Wow. So, tell me, it was affecting you immediately? Yeah. Even the smelling, I just ate it. I just ate the smelling. The Even the smell? See, I'm, the moment I see it, yo. Oh, I just ate it, the moment I see it. You just ate it. So they brought you a small portion, man. Take, finish everything, man. Come on, wow. Finish everything. <laughs> oh. So you couldn't eat red meat? Yeah. And now? Wow. Wow. Yeah. So I you want more? They give you small. Yeah, yeah, more. You want more? Yeah. So go to the kitchen. Let them increase at least half. Let this man eat. He hasn't been eating well. Go to the kitchen, get more. Let's give God the glory.
Daddy, we've got our brother Tato here. He said after drinking the anointing oil, now after testing him, he's saying uh, the cigarette is too light. You feel it's light now? Yeah, it's light. And you said you were smoking everything. Yeah. Now it's light. Yeah, it's light. Okay, drink this again. Yeah, test him again. What's happening now? Light, 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 light. Huh? It's light. Do you I'm going to jump before now? It's worse now. Yeah, no, it's more light. It's more worse now. No, it's not more worse. It's less. It's less. Yeah. You mean? Can you explain? It's not like the way you know it. No, it light do. Come quickly, it's in that day. Oh, it light. Yeah. Okay, God is with you. Let's live for Jesus. He says he doesn't taste the, the same way it used to, to taste. It's now light. Let's lay hands for Jesus Christ. He received his deliverance. Don't doubt God loves you. Evil of death. Evil of death. You evil of death. In Jesus' name, amen. Just leave me alone. Come in your dreams. Wait, now, wait, now, wait, now, 
wena ulafu 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 yo eh eh yo kaukupa i'm begging you i've appeared now hey hey umatsatse na wena you always show her the way umatsatse na wena you always show her the way I'm take I'm going to take her voice We cause her not to sing. She will never sing. Your time is up. Your time is up. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's live for Jesus. Fight the divine in that body, destroy. What's happening? Malim. Can I lean to in Sipalanka Momaling Kabushu and Sonya get us my ending? It's like a great accident. Longwell like a aloful. She says she has something moving in her stomach. Her throat is sore and also she has asthma. Then also, as you can see on the screens, that her leg is swollen. She was also involved in a car accident. It's painful. Yeah. Absolutely. Just take this anointing oil. I've just given you the anointing oil. How's the pain? Yeah. 
Nothing. Nothing. She says the pain is no more. Let's clap hands for Jesus for the speedy deliverance and the healing. How's the pain now? It's gone. How's the headache? It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Bless you. She's got a period of pain. How's the pain? It is slowly going away. It's going after touching the anointing oil. Ne? How's the pain now? Now? I'm okay. You're okay now? Huh? It's gone. It is gone. Bless you. God is with you. Take your change. It's respectful. I Time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up. You're no more. Jesus. Now? Yeah, but what? Yeah, okay. And now? I know, Papa. And how's the pain? It's gone, Papa. It's gone. Yeah, Papa. Okay. Now you can hear. Yeah, yeah, Papa. Okay. She's saying that she woke up with a ear. I'm not hearing, and it was also painful. But now, after the man of God, and she could not hear. 
And after the man of God has now prayed for her, she says that uh, the pain is gone and now she can hear as well. Check. One, two. One, two. One. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you're free. Let's step for Jesus. What? Money into millions. Yeah, just take this anointing oil. I give you these two anointing oils. It, fulfillment just has to happen. It is done. God is with you. You're blessed. Bless you. 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 God is with you. You'll bring a testimony. Né? God loves you. God loves you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm the last one. Pardon? I'm saying I'm the last born. You're the last born. Don't worry. Expect another. <laughs> God loves you. Take. God is with you. Né? Bless you. God is with you. Bless you.
How's the pin now? Sir. You're free. Got it. I declare you all free. You are blessed and raised up from above. You are blessed. You are blessed. Let's go into confessions. Let's come to confessions. My name is Christina Nobungwana from Katlehong, Jemistin. I've, I've got three confessions to make. The first confession goes like this. On the 10th of March 2017, my dad sent me out to work in hospitals and in my vicinity. I did that, but on the second week of May, I got sick for six weeks, and I didn't tell, I didn't tell the daddy about that. In October, I started the work and because of what I did for not informing Daddy about the break that I made in the work that he told me to do, I lost my front tooth. And I took that as a dis disobedience. My second confession goes like this. I overprotected my three sons to the extent of unintentionally spoiling them which is against God's will. And that affected me, my spiritual life, a lot. Thirdly, as a, as a, a site steward at work, I had been involved in attending to grievance, grievances from the, the union members, and which I had to confront the management of which I'm part of that management. And that caused me, my spiritual, my, my spiritual ears to be deaf, and my spiritual life uh, was stagnant. So I just ask my father to forgive me for everything that I've done, and I'm asking for a restoration because as a result, I have this spiritual husband which is tormenting me. And it makes me not to pray frequently as I used to pray, not to read the Bible as I used to do. So I'm asking my father to please forgive me and restore my, my spiritual life. God is with you. God loves you. As you confess, the whole thing has been destroyed. As you confess, you've been set free. I forgive you. The Spirit of the Lord forgives you. You're forgiven. Let's live for Jesus. Next. Hallelujah. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Poppy Muluke. I'm currently residing in Stelfontein. I have two confessions to make. The, the first confession is about uh, offense and anger. I was in a certain ministry where I was attending. In that ministry, when I left to go to that ministry, I had a dream. I had a dream about me, somebody was telling me that which church, I, why do don't I go to church? Then I, I told the person that I am going to church. Then the person said, no, you are not going to church. Then that person said to me, he sprinkled the anointing water in my face. Then I started to swim in a foam. When I was swimming in the foam, I started to speak in tongues. 
So the, 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 the people that I was fellowshipping with in the same, the, 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 the certain minister that I was attending started to argue, being angry with me, fighting with me, that, saying that why me, why am I being filled with the Holy Spirit? Why me talking in tongues? Then I continued to go to church. While I was going to church, I started having the spirit of anger. I didn't want to go to church anymore. And at church, I was a worshiper. I was fully committed in the church. I was in the leadership of the, of, of the women in the church that I was attending. I started to become, to, to, to have anger, not going, don't, going to want to go to church anymore. Then I had a dream one day. That dream, it was my previous pastor where I was attending. He visited my, she visited my house. When she was visited in my house, she came with the four dwarfs in my house. Those four dwarfs, dwarfs were two boys and two girls. She said to me, it's her children. But when I looked at these 12 in the, in the, in, in the, in the eyes, they were big children. They were not ch children. They were all grown up people. They were not children. Then they started worshiping and dancing in my house. Then those dwarfs dwarf went into my bedroom. When they were into my bedroom, they applied something in my bed, like an ointment. Then I said to him, look at these children of yours. They are making my bed dirty. Then I, 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 I get a cloth and I wipe that, that ointment on my bed. After that, I feared to go to church. I didn't, I didn't go to church anymore. Then I had a spiritual mom. We, we were attending church. I told him, I said, I don't want to go to church anymore. Then Mama Kony said to me, let us go to Reapeoni. We came on a Tuesday on the 7th of November. When I was here on the 7th of November, Papa was ministering with flower, flowers. Papa gave me a flower. I didn't even touch it. I manifested. Then Papa said, people who came with the heart, because I was angry in my heart saying that I am serving God day and night where I was serving God. I, 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 I had these dreams, these things are happening to me. So the, previous, the day before I came here, I prayed hard to God. I said, God, if this is not the right place for me, show me the right place. I came here to Rabone. Papa gave me a flower. I ministered. Then Papa said to me, you will start having dreams, you will dream. I bought the anointing oil, I went home. When I got home, I had a dream about Papa. I had a dream, I start, when I arrived home, I, I, I anointed my house. When I anointed my house, I had a fight with spiritual husband. To my surprise, this spiritual husband, there were so many, they were not the same. I fight them to a certain point that when I wake up in the morning, I saw some prints in the, in the mirror. Unfortunately, I didn't take the photo because my mirror was white, so the photo didn't show well. I wanted to take a photo to, take, to come and testify, but the photo didn't show well. Then somebody said to me, these are the things that have been sleeping with you. These are the things that have been chasing your fiancé away because I had someone, we were planning to get married. Then after that, I took him to, to my church to meet my, fellow, my, my, my former pastor. Then after that, things messed up. Then somebody said, these are the things that they have been sleeping with you, so they chased him away. I started behaving anger in my heart, saying that this person, he, he is the one, she is the one who was bringing this in my life. So I started to having this spirit of anger in me. So I stopped going to church. I started coming here to Rabuoni. So, Baba, I'm also asking for forgiveness. If I'm wrong with the, with, with the woman of God, I'm asking God to forgive me, and Baba, I'm asking for forgiveness. The second of confession is, uh, is about my, my mom. I'm in a family of four. We, I have two, a, a brother. We are two, 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 two girls and two, two boys. I'm the eldest. And this... In my family, uh, the man who married my father, my mother, he's not my biological father, so he is my stepfather. So I did, as the eldest sister, I did everything for my family. As I was the one who's, who's eldest, I was working, 
I was buying clothes for them. I even paid school fees for my younger brothers. But as time goes by, reality started now. I bought myself a house. I bought myself a car. I couldn't take care of my family anymore. So my mother became angry with me for that. But she didn't told me, but I could see because I couldn't do anything for her anymore in her family. So she started to become angry with me. Even if when I, I was struggling financially, you used to tell me this word that you, have, you, you are a winner. You, have, you, 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 you are a survivor. You will always survive. So this thing brought anger in me to such an extent that because I didn't have money, so my mother started treating us not the same. My, my younger sister and my brother, and my younger brother started to working to work, so my, my mother took them first. Me and my brother, who's after me, we were nothing before my, before my mother. So this thing brought an anger to me because I felt like my mother was using me to support his family. So no, I'm not, I, I no longer do those things. So he doesn't love, she doesn't love me anymore. So I started to, be, to have this spirit of anger in me and which brought me, I had some sicknesses, high blood pressure, headaches, pains all over my body. And my younger brother, who is not working, he even moved out of the house because of the treatment that my father, my mother was giving to us. He is no longer, he is not working, but he doesn't live at home. He is now sick, he is having stress also because of the treatment that was given by my mother. This thing brought me the spirit of anger and offense. I had, I, I've been offended by my previous church, so I, being angered, I, I have a spirit of anger from my mom. And this thing has brought everything in my life stagnant. Everything is stagnant in my life. I don't drink anymore like I used to dream I'm, when I'm from Raboni. After I came to Raboni, I used to dream. I used to see Papa in my dreams. So this thing, every time when I go home, this anger will come afresh again and will come stronger and stronger. And this thing will lead me not to pray, not to read my Bible. When I go to sleep, I'll be, I'll be tired. I'll just sleep. I'll long, long up my spiritual life is down. I cannot pray. Everything is stagnant. Is stagnant. And my, last year, my biological father passed on. on. This year, February, my biological father passed on, of which my biological father, by the grace of God, I didn't know about it. About it. He made the will of, by which he gave everything to me, his house and his money. So the house, I'm still struggling with that. Everything is stagnant. The, the lawyers, when I call them, they say, we are not yet through. When we are through, we will call you. So everything is stagnant. I don't know how far is the process is going. Everything is stagnant. So I'm asking for forgiveness from Papa to forgive me and God and to de deliver me from this spirit of anger and offense because I can feel in my heart and I can see that it has brought everything into my life, into stagnation. And I also ask for forgiveness from Papa. I had so many testimonies to come and give. I'm, 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 I'm sorry I didn't give the testimony because I didn't want to come and testify about my Lord Jesus Christ and Savior with a heavy heart as Papa usually teaches us that blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. So I, my heart was so heavy. So I couldn't give a testimony, but I was heavy loaded. So I wanted to offload everything in my heart so that I can come and testify about my God. I mean. God loves you. Yeah, God is with you. I forgive you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you. You're forgiven from every evil in Jesus' name. Amen. You're forgiven. God is with you. Let's live for Jesus. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus. My name is Ngobile. I'm, I'm from Zone 14. 
I'm here to confess about the wrong connection. Okay, confession. I'm Kala Ganji. In 2014, I'm so many I'm going to be rather than putting Kala Esopeni, Bessie Angbuzis in Dabankukule and stuff. I had a friend and which I went to their place and when we were sitting on the sofa, she started telling me things. Okay, man, you are going to in the spirit. Okay, you are going in the spirit. I slept and I got into the spirit. I think I was going to go to the spirit. And then she said to me, I must ask God when is she going to get married to Pastor Liseo? Nano man, like, unkulunkul anga nkombisi, ukutu shata nini, uzo libela ati ndale futi, ukutu unzo wazu bona. And God didn't show me anything, but then she, she said I must sleep again so that God can show me. So, no man ngaboni, uzo libela ati npinde ndale, nkinesa nkulumama ngutu shata na NXT, nano man ngaboni ushatu. When I did not see anything, she said I must go back to sleep again and I ended up lying to her and I said to her that God says they are going to get married the coming year, the next year. Or oh, she would say that I must go into the spirit and also ask God when is she going to get married, when is, he, is her man coming. She said that I must get into the spirit and ask God when is she going to die. The lady said to me that I must go back into the spirit and ask God when the man is going to die. When her man is, is going to die. I lied to her and tell her that next year her man was going to die even though I was lying. Whenever I visit her, she will tell me that even the ladies that I'm with in the spiritual group, they'll never get married. And then she will speak about people, even the worship team. She will tell me that who will get married and who will not. And then she, she told me that uh, she forever prays for me that I mustn't be on my periods and, and, and mustn't get children at all. And like, all, okay, so I can let's cut less even some of the because they are seized and cool food. All this time I was afraid to say anything because she was helping us a lot. This thing has affected me a lot because even my grades at school are not going well. I don't even get a simple seven. Like, good matter, Benny. Oh, good matter, like, oh, good matter. Like Even in my mathematics, I was the highest student, but now uh, I fail every time. Even when other marks are good, but my English won't be good, so I'll fail. I can't even pray anymore. And footing Kalagutum Fundis Ang Ang or Kalagutum Umfundis Uncle Long Woods as Angas and Azo Peter's Timon, Nanoma, ma'am. A near relationship between me and Nanoma, ma'am. 
I ask the man of God, Pastor Lesiko, to forgive me because I didn't come and give a testimony because the relationship between me and my mother, it has improved. Yeah, yeah, well. Thank you. God loves you. Every spirit raised by offense and disobedience. Every spirit raised by disobedience. Wrong connection. Every spirit raised by disobedience and wrong connection. Be uprooted. Jesus name your time is up in Jesus name stand up you're forgiving God is with you ne? God is with you let's clap for Jesus my name is Lerato and I'm from Soshanguve I'm here to confess about offense it started when I was doing a grade eight in 2014 when the man of God started uh, the miracle of uh, grass. They were talking about him at school, and I was excited because they were, they were telling me that they have seen Men of God, Pastor Lesejo, on TV. It all started last year, 2016, when I went to another school. The principal at my school, he's very strict. So he wanted to address us, but we were making noise. And then he was speaking and he said to us that uh, this is the assemble here. We are very strict. It's not like that church that feeds people grass. People, they laughed, and my heart was so. And this year, when our English teacher was supposed to mark our books, it was after break the lunch and then she said to, she said to me Lerato do you think I'm, I'm I'm joking am I from eating the grass my heart was painful and when the men of God gave us the war against addiction pamphlet I didn't come to church on that day and another girl that I went to school together with and she comes in Raboni, she was having those pamphlets and then I asked one from her. So and they all came to me and they saw the pamphlet and I asked them to come. And another boy, he saw where it's written Raboni Center Ministries, the firstborn of God. So Angbuzi Soguti, why Upa was visa the first the firstborn of God? Can't go in a firstborn, a second born, a third born. He then asked me as to why the man of God, Pastor Lesiro, is, is saying that he's the firstborn of God. Do we have first, second, third born now? 
I couldn't answer him, and while we were busy with our exams, they, uh, we were writing mathematics, and they asked me if did I, if did, if I, if did I eat uh, grass. Every day, my logo sees this is a problem. I say, but he, he puts the little petrol, the little green, he doesn't get it. Every time when we went to 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 write the exams, they will ask me as to whether did I drink any petrol, eat any grass. So in the lay, I'm just looking for cool, and I'm going to do the song. I'm pending, and I'm going to write my script. That thing it hurt me so bad to a point that I ended up answering him, and I even quote some scriptures. Now, if we talk about my scripture, I will learn the other proverbs. At me, now I refuse to correct you. I saw me in Isaiah, Malay, Emma, Elaine. He also quoted some scriptures as well, and then he quoted a book in Proverbs, and then he said, "I refuse to be corrected." So, tell Baba Uncle Elo for Guba offended. Now, if in the Nikosi in Kalan Kumbuz. I ask the man of God to forgive me, and if there's anything that I forget, that I have forgotten, please remind me and forgive me as well. God loves you. I forgive you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you. You're forgiven in Jesus' name. Bless you. You're forgiven. Let's live for Jesus. My name is Mukuyezi Elizabeth Tagen. I'm from Verkom. Kitubu waka konfeshi ni li kantu. Wrong connection ni li enga. I'm here to confess about wrong connection and anger. Kipumane, every time I get a man who's a kirikin kapo, before I get a kirikin kapo, I get a kirikin kapo, I get a kirikin kapo. Every time I'm supposed to come to church, or when I come to church, or when I go home from church, my house gets burgled. So, between October before the 29th, um, the week in October before the 29th. I had a dream where the thieves were coming into my house on a Thursday. So, then on Friday, um, something came up that caused me to go to see my mother and go away from the house the whole weekend. So, then on, then on a Friday before the 29th, uh, the thieves came again. So, I received a call while I was at home from my neighbor stating that my house was broken into. So, I was at home from my neighbor stating that my house I found myself being angry at God and asking myself why would these people come on a Friday when there was a life um, service here at church. I then saw that there was no help. So I saw that there was no help. Before I left the house, I had the TV on RTV. So, even though I had to feel like one of my colleagues, one of my colleagues, I came to phone her. Because I had some type of phone her, I had to phone her as a thing. Then I received a call from a colleague um, who does not usually call me, but on that day I received a call from them. So about what you say, and I want to put that in the game of life, like you try to do. I want to get high. I want to feel high. I want to get some. I want to feel like I'm happy. Um, the colleagues um felt 
or rather heard that I was not well. Then they asked me what was wrong, of which I explained to them that my house was broken into. They invited me to their house, which I went to. Then my colleague took me to another man um, for prayers. So, um, that man, after he prayed for me, he said that my things would be returned to my home. Um, but then, to my surprise, after I left his place, I had pains on my, on my heels. So before ke 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 ya mo the following day e be lo go ke loga papa e ka re ke mo ke re ke Before I went home um, the following day I then dreamt of the man of God Professor Lesego Daniel and I was I was here at church So e ka re ne ke le ka ke re ke but next I prepare ka mara na go ke bona o sotletse ka ke re ke be ke re ke tswe ke tsa mae na ke lo prepare I was here at church. However, it looked as though I was not prepared to come here. Then in the same dream, uh, the church became full of people. Then I went out um, thinking that I would go prepare myself. On my way back from preparing myself, I got lost um, as I did not know where the church was. Then I heard the voice of the man of God, Professor Lesego Daniel, um, from the loudspeakers. Then that's when I got out of the dream. The week before I came here on the 29th, I had a dream of the man of God, Professor Lesoho Daniel, where he was so angry. Then I woke up um, having pains on my heels. So I had to realize that I had a wrong connection in an hour and I developed an anger. So I had to realize that I had a wrong connection. That's when I realized that I had connected myself wrongly. Then also I had the spirit of anger and also I was conscious stricken. Before during the week Before I came here um, on the Tuesday service. I received a call from my colleague saying that she bought a car and I should come and see the car that they bought. So how do you feel about the love of God? You have a hard time holding on. You are not in a way. The colleague of mine cannot drive, and as I went to see the car that she bought, again, if you put money to it, you go back to the mall. You want to buy a car, you want to buy a car, you want to buy a car, you want to buy a car. Because she cannot drive, um, she and her kids asked me to sleep over and I would go home the following day as I was the one driving, as I stated that my colleague cannot drive. So, I feel like something like voice here, Papa, I can't tell me how I'm going to get to the wrong connection. Then I heard um, my father's voice, Professor Lesoho Daniel, stating that I was not supposed to be there. Then I again thought that I had... Um, Connected myself wrongly. Then I read the Bible through my phone before I slept. I wanted to share with them, then they said that I should not do that as they were still in the world. So, I was like, I spent the night at their place, then at night, um, or rather during the night, I was so sick to a point where I went to the toilet, but then they, they did not hear me, and I sat in the toilet for about two hours. 
I was thinking of using the anointing all treasures of darkness. However, it was far. It was in my bag. It happened that they heard me uh, and they wanted to call an ambulance. So we kiss a dumen hell, visa ambulance, say it, Bahono, Kukab and Kisavete, Kihono, Urikiwale. I refused for them to call an ambulance. Then um, they picked me up, they took me to bed, and I slept. In the morning, kiss Waki hospital, who say, I woke up in the morning and I went to the hospital. Kahola and Nebo for Kavafita Vanginia did three people because Nesiki Chinchile woman, Ali Muna. I think that it was around four o'clock because I had already changed. Then when I got to the hospital, it was around 11 o'clock. I had a dream where I had a fight with the owner of the car, the same person I was sleeping next to. And I joined a physically to your Kiki Laura Berton and a command to keep Pumana Kitamea away a hacker, and then I feel a hacker to see a kibulet a papa. Then um, that manifested into the physical where we, we had a verbal um, fight. Then I went to my house, then I found myself um, seeing the man of God, Professor Lesoko Daniel. So how do you feel that I'm going to feel like you're going to have a happy we left together, and when we got there, I asked them to pray. After we finished praying, um, this same colleague of mine started manifesting, making a noise, then I started praying personally. So when we were outside about to leave, she then said that there was something um, that was put in my yard. In my yard, I had placed um, the bottles of anointing oil, treasures of darkness, in all the corners. Before before I placed the bottles of anointing all treasures of darkness, I received something from my neighbor um, who said that that thing um, heals and they talk to it, but I don't know um, how to do that. So, when my neighbor said that there was something put in my yard, I immediately thought of that, but I had forgotten about it because that um, thing that my neighbor gave me, she said what it was to prevent the thieves from coming to my house and breaking into the house. So I then told uh, my colleague that there was nothing in the house. Then I explained to her what that thing was. Uh, she then called a certain brother who came. Then they checked they, um, at my gate. The same brother who came and dug um, at my gate is the Sangoma that um, my colleague consults at. So But I knew very well that there was nothing in my yard as I had um, placed the bottles of anointing all treasures of darkness and nothing was going to harm me. I then wanted to see if this person knew what they were doing. I wanted to expose them. So After they had dug 
the place. They then said um, what they were looking for is no longer there. It had spread throughout the yard. So, then the person um, put his head in the same hole that he dug. He then said there was a bottle that was in the yard and he was looking for it. But I knew that he didn't know what he was talking about. Um, then I'm asking for forgiveness from the men of God as I connected myself wrongly. Usually, usually I sleep with the TV on Raboni channel. So I while sleeping I would hear the man of God as well as the worshipping team worshipping then I would dream myself being in the church here at Rabone Center Ministries but after all that that has happened. I don't dream anything. I just sleep like a baby. I'm asking for forgiveness from both God and my father, Professor Lesoho Daniel. I thank you. God loves you. I forgive you. And the spirit of Christ forgives you. If you have wrong connection, every spirit raised by wrong connection and offense, you are normal in Jesus' name. Amen. You're forgiven. God is with you. Ne? I forgive you. God is with you. Let's live for Jesus. <clears throat> Vios all over the world. Through confession, God is able to cleanse and forgive us. If we don't confess that we are sinners, we make God to be a liar. But if we confess that we are sinners, God is able to cleanse and forgive us. The scriptures are alive. The word of God is active, is alive. Whatever we do, wherever, as long as the presence of God is there, the word of God is alive and active. And we live and we move, we have a whole being when we're in him. He's the word which was with God in the beginning. The word has become alive right now. God is here to bless us. We thank God that through these confessions we are learning. Through this confession, we get to know the reality of the spirit from above. God is here to bless us. God is here to cause the body of Christ to be a reality. It is time to look unto Jesus, looking unto him only, and leave aside every weight, every hindrance, every obstacle, and the sin that so easily entangles us, and see Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Let us look unto him. He is the one to lead us. He is the one to guide us. As we saw at the Mount of Transfiguration, when Peter said, let's be three booths, one for Moses, one for Elijah, one for Jesus Christ, God enveloped them quickly with a cloud. And the voice said, this is my son, whom I love. Listen to him only. Let us listen to Christ. Let us listen to one voice. For my sheep hear me by my voice, and they follow me. Let's hear him only. For he is the one to lead and guide us. Viewers, we have come to the end of this program. We thank God for blessing us the whole day. We thank God for releasing his glory, for releasing his own purpose in this house to bless nations out there, to bless all of us together. God is here to raise us up and to give us life. Tomorrow we'll be having a Christmas celebration at night. We'll be starting at 6 in the evening. Let's come together and celebrate the birth the beautiful birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's time to spend time giving, to give, and let it be permanent. Let it not be only for just season. Let it be for a lifetime. Let it be our lifestyle. It's time to bless each other, to spend time together, to love each other, 
to know the purpose of him coming here on earth to give us life, to cause us to know him better and to live together in one accord. Let's come and celebrate. Those who are watching, I declare right now, you are blessed. I declare right now, the word of the Lord has come. The word of the Lord has come to heal you, to raise you up, to set you free from evil spirit. The word of the Lord has come. As God said, I sent forth my word to heal your diseases. The word of the Lord has come to set you free, to break every chain in your life, to open every door that no man can close. The word of the Lord has come to destroy that poverty. The word of the Lord has come to destroy every evil in your life. No more limitation. The word of the Lord has come to destroy death in your life. Life has come. In him there was life and that life became the light of men. The light of the Lord has come as I speak the word right now. The love of the world the love of the world has come. The love from above which is Christ from above. Remember God is love the love of God has come to set you free. I declare you blessed in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Do send in your testimonies as I speak the word of God upon your life. God is setting you free. God has opened every door that no man can close. Remember, when God opens, no man can interfere. I declare you blessed in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Right now, we refute every tongue that set itself against God. Every tongue that speaks against you. I say nothing will prosper in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Only the word of the Lord has come upon you to set you free, to protect you, to cover you against every tongue that speaks against you. I declare you blessed right now. I declare you raised and blessed, healed, delivered, and made whole in Jesus' name. We thank the Lord for blessing you. Just send in your testimonies. Remember, we are a family together. Substance has been revealed. If you are a substance, you are a true brother. You are a true sister. You are a true mother. Right now, as we are together, we thank God for this fellowship of the Holy Spirit bringing us together in love. We thank you for tuning in. Right now, we're going off air. Let's meet tomorrow night from 6 o'clock. We'll be together celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God that everything has been prepared for tomorrow. Tomorrow, it will just be fulfillment. It shall be fulfillment in your life. As you'll be watching, God has blessed you already in Jesus' name. Thank you. We love you. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.